What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name's Jesse. I do installs, reviews, anything that has to do with cars and sometimes random social experiments. So if you want to keep on watching and smash that like button, go ahead and do it. So as we all know, I have a white 2015 Honda Civic LX, a white 2014 Mini Cooper Clubman and a 2015 Honda Civic SE. So the reason I'm stating that is because for the next couple videos, we're gonna be doing videos on this car. Let's get going and I'll explain and to so you what's why. What's up you guys? For today's video, it's gonna be like a unboxing video. I'm gonna be showing you all the product that I'm gonna go ahead and install into my 2015 Honda Civic. One of the products that I have here today, it was sent to me by a company to go ahead and try out and review. So I'm gonna to try to keep this video pretty short, but I am gonna show you everything that I received and I'll try to go into a little bit of detail. I won't go too much, but as far as for the install videos, um, I'm gonna split them in parts. The reason why is because if I do it in one whole install, it's gonna be like an hour long video and I know nobody wants to watch that. So I'm gonna go ahead and split it in parts. So let's go ahead and get to this video today and I'll show you what I got. So let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. The first product that I'm going to show you guys is the one that was sent to me to go ahead and try it on review. Of course, we're not going to do the install on it today. I'm just showing you all the products that I have for the upcoming videos to come. And I'm super happy that they sent me this because the products that I'm going to show you next have a lot to do with this. So thank you to STP Atlantic, which is a Noico Solutions. Um, because without this that I'm going to go ahead and show you right now, um, the project that I'm starting is not going to be complete without this. So thank you to you guys. So let's go ahead and show all of you guys what this is. So they did send me two boxes of these. If you don't know what this is, it's car sound deadening. What they sent me was, uh, let's see, it's the Noiko 80 mil 36 square feet. So that's like a lot of product. And they sent me two boxes of it, so that's awesome. I absolutely thank them for that. All right, so inside there is like, oh, that's pretty cool. There's actual instructions on how to install it. So that's seriously a plus on this. They give you with colored pictures and everything too. All right, so here it is. So if you haven't guessed what the project is gonna be about yet, if you don't know what this is, it's gonna be a full system install on my 2015 Honda Civic. Hence why I said I'm going to do the videos in parts because then it's going to be a long video. Alright, so here's their product. So this is the back, which is, you remove this, you know, and uh, we'll get into the how-to in a different video. So I'm just going to show you the product. So like I said, it's a bunch of sheets that they sent me, which is going to cover a lot of the car, which is seriously going to help this project out a lot. So if you guys already know what it is, you guys have tried it out, let me know in the comment section below. If not, uh, you guys will see a video on it. I only chose one brand for the whole install. I didn't want to mix and match stuff. So everything is just one brand. And I did go with stuff that was affordable. This one's a subwoofer. Here it is. It's the Roxford P2 uh, 4 ohm 12 inch subwoofer. So if it's not in the title yet, uh, I am doing an actual full sound system install. The only thing I'll be missing is uh, the four channel amp that goes for the door speakers and uh, the tweeters. The tweeters are already installed in my car so there was no need to purchase those. But it's going to be pretty much a full system install. A 12 inch ported box. I will link everything that I have here today in the description box below. And another thing when I do the install videos on this uh, I will make sure to one, detail everything as I always try to do in my videos and two, I will show you exactly what tools you will need for the process. Um, I know it's for my, my Civic, but the process is almost the same on every car. So that's one thing to know. Let's get on to the next product. So before I get bashed by uh, on this one that I got, this is probably the only thing that is not a Rockstar Fosgate. I got the, this one right here, which is, uh, honestly, I've never heard of this uh, brand, so I hope it doesn't blow up my car, but it's a Bass Rockers. It's an amp kit. Pretty much comes with the, all the RCAs, the power, the remote, and the ground cable, and the fuse. Next, what I got was four speakers, two door ones, and then the two that go in the rear of the car. I chose the Roxford uh, R1s, and they are, 
They are not that strong. Like I said, everything you see here is on a budget. It's not that expensive. All right, so uh, these speakers do come with the wire that you're gonna need to connect from your speaker to the car. So that's a good plus right there. Comes with the hardware, all the screws and stuff. Here's the speaker. It's pretty nice. This is gonna give me what I wanted. Uh, this is the amp that of course is gonna power the subwoofer. And like I said, I'm gonna end up purchasing another one later down the road for the speakers, the door speakers. This is the Roxford Prime uh, 500 watt, I believe. Um, supposedly, Roxford is underrated, so it might be more than that. But here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So it does come with hardware, that's pretty cool. All right. Another thing why I liked this specific app, it came with its own knob control. So here it is. So what that does is pretty much control your bass. So if you want to lower it down, you can. It's just by a turn of a knob. I chose this one. It's because of the size. So as you can tell, it's not that big. Um, it is a 500 watt one. All right, so one thing to note, on my install. I'm gonna be installing all this on a stock radio. So if anybody knows about sound systems, um, you can't just connect a amp to a stock radio because it does not have uh, the pre-outputs, which is like the aux cable, the RCA cable, sorry. Um, so you do have to get a high level converter. So I got the Roxford Fosgate one. I've heard good and bad things about this. So you guys, are gonna see what it's about with me. It's Tesla wire loom tape. The reason why is because any wires exposed, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tape it up with this. That way it looks all factory. It's just that you don't really need. It's just preference. Make it look nicer, you know? You don't actually need this, but it's for a cleaner install. Heat shrinking wrap, uh, pretty much when you put your wires together, you then put this over it so that way it doesn't break through. Or you can purchase some of these smaller ones that already have solder in them and you just kind of crimp them down and hit them with the heat gun and they get stuck together with the wires. Now, this right here, I'll show you what it is. Does anybody know what this is? Comment down below before I even say it. So this is a roller. This is gonna come in handy, why? Because it's gonna go ahead and in part with the sound deadening install. I'm gonna actually need this to install that sound deadening. So if you're not planning on putting sound deadening in your car, you don't need to purchase this. But if you are gonna put some sound deadening in your vehicle, um, you're gonna need to pick up one of these because believe me, it's gonna one, help with the install and two, help you install it correctly. That's gonna be it for today's video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.